morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to our annual Executive Leadership Awards Breakfast Gala. Executive Leaders will be nearly six years old next month. I would like to thank all of you for coming here very early in the morning. Uh, I just want you to know that our committee, our gala committee, which some of them are right back here, we, we, uh, we were here to the wee hours last night. And the committee was working very hard for all of you the past weeks to bring it to where this is now. We tried to bring a nighttime gala to the daytime. I know it's a little early, but that's what everybody wants, want to get out here early. So we have it early. And I want to thank who was here to the wee hours as well with all of us. And that is Miss Vanessa Di Domenico. And where is Vanessa? She's here. So here she is. You know, Vanessa, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Vanessa and her crew, she's the president, woman owned business, event images, and she handles all our events on decorating everything from your centerpieces to the high tech plasma screens behind us and a lot of other things behind the scenes that you don't see. But believe me, it's a big help to all of us. We thank you, Vanessa, and everybody. Thank you very much. Okay. Without further ado, and, and we'll get to the uh, announce a few people in a few minutes. But we're running a little behind, and we're gonna we're gonna do right now. We're gonna have the pledge of allegiance, and leading us in the pledge of allegiance will be none other than Lieutenant Julius Freeman and Flying Tuskegee Airman Flying Hero Lieutenant Pledge. It's a true honor to have Lieutenant Freeman here. I think everyone knows the story of the Tuskegee Airmen. And uh, Lieutenant was here before with us, and we, we're, we're really thankful to have him here again. And him, and as well as our one of our founders of Executive Leaders, Bob Marino, and a veteran. And we salute all the veterans in our audience today. And please remember all our veterans who are active and inactive throughout the country and the world from the United States of America. Without further ado, Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here this morning. Being here last year and this year, as a young man, I find it to be a great pleasure. At this time, we will say the President of the Legion. I get in a senior moment and I might forget the words. But you'll help me out, I'm sure. A pledge of allegiance to the United States of America, to the world for which it stands, one nation, in God, individual, and liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. Please stand for the national anthem at this time. Sorry. <laughs> at this time, we're going to have Mr. William Mosley help us out in the national anthem. Bill? Uh, before I start, um, I was looking at some information on the, the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem, and there was a 10 minute diatribe on YouTube, and what I got out of it was one thing. And I think uh, Mr. McGow and some others in the room will appreciate the fact that the author of the song, uh, Francis Scott Key, was an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> On a more serious note, I'd like to dedicate this to my dad, who was a World War II veteran who passed away last year, who taught me that singing was fun, and to my uh, two music teachers at Secret High School, Joe Manzo and Artie Dirksen, who taught me how to do it so few people would leave the room. <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last leaving whose broad stripes and Stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs 